Hey, I'm Angela. And I'm Sam, and this is Green Acre Homestead. And today we are going to start primering our cabinets. We will start with the bottom ones and see how far we get. All right, here's a look at the primer that we got. We got this from the actual Sherwin-Williams store in the city, not from Lowe's or somewhere else. We walked in and pretty much felt like we read them a blank check, saying we have some unfinished wood cabinets in our kitchen and we need to paint them. This is the primer they gave us. It's premium wood primer, so hoop to do. And then they have the paint, which we'll show you guys later. Wow. We took the doors off the cabinets and taking the hinges off and everything. And so we can paint the doors separate from the actual carcass or case of the cabinet itself. Sounds bad. Carcass.
Well, that was a job. <laughs> I think you got out a little bit easier. I got the easy job. <laughs> she did. But while I was finishing the doors and everything, you also did bath with the boys. I did. And from the sounds coming from the bathroom, I probably had the less stressful job. <laughs> it's always fun. Yeah. So overall, it was pretty easy to do. Wouldn't you say? It was just time consuming on your part. Yeah. Yeah. No major technical issues. You put paint from a can to a brush to a board. And thankfully I didn't paint the floor and I didn't paint the inside of the cabinets. You did good. I think your hands are cleaner than mine too. Yeah, I actually... <laughs> I've got paint all the way up to my arms and everything. I'm just... <laughs> He's the messy one this time. I am. This time I definitely was messy. So we're not going to do a how-to video on step-by-step -step how we're doing the cabinets, mainly because we've never done it before. <laughs> Yeah, we don't like trying to teach somebody something how to do it when we just learned ourselves. That being said, we'll put links below to other people's videos that helped guide us and teach us, and you'll find those very useful. That also being said, you may see we didn't do something like we should have or something. I don't know. So. That's okay. This isn't a showroom. It looks great. This is how we did it. <laughs> it looks great, and it looks perfect on camera, I'm sure. Video does really well to hide some flaws. <laughs> <laughs> Creative angles, maybe. No. So, next we will... Continue priming the upper cabinets. Okay. Prime uh, everything first? Yeah. Prime everything first. Okay. Yep. We'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye. Don't you go nowhere. That's right. I see you. Sit back down. The show is not over. It's the next day, Angela's at work, and I'm going to surprise her by priming all the kitchen cabinets so she doesn't have to. I have four hours until she gets home from work. I've got to prime all of these, which is going to take a while, but I've also got to wrangle the kids, do lunch, finish Eliza's homeschool they didn't finish this morning, and something else I'm sure. I'm forgetting. So, let's see if we get going. Let's go ahead and kick it up a notch, get some energy revving in here, get you guys going with me, and let's get this thing done. Fifteen minutes into it and I have three doors done out of ten. Um, I think I'm gonna do something that's a little bit out of my normal operations and go to the hardware store and see if they have a sanding block specifically one that's made for details. Now I could surely go make one in the workshop for sure but we have a small hardware store in the little town we live and it's a nice little mom-and-pop operation and I try the best I can to give them some support when I can do it. I think this is a good example or a good time where I can take a short two to three minute trip down the road, give them some support, and get something to help me continue moving with this project, which is kind of on a time crunch. And we're back. So, this is what I picked up. A little bit of Gator Grip. I think it's a Gator Grip. No, Gator Finishing Products Sanding Block Little Sanding Kit. Now this one caught my eye because it is more of a detail oriented hand sanding block. It's kind of skinny. It's like it's maybe a one inch by three inch pad and it uses hook and loop paper. Now, even though it comes with its proprietary paper, I've got regular hook and loop paper from my regular sanders, a whole bunch of regulars there, that I can cut strips to fit for this. I like the sanding block because it's a more detail oriented one and I want to need that for these cabinets, but also I'll use this thing a lot for my wooden cooking utensils that I make to really help the sanding process and kind of speed things along.
I just now finished and it's about four o'clock. I have an hour and a half until Angela gets off work and then about another 20 minutes till she gets home. So I've got to get busy busy. Since it's just me and we're not having to share a roller and a brush, I'm going to go ahead and brush all of the details of the doors and then go ahead and start brushing the cabinets and I'll come back with the roller and fill it in and finish it that way. My hope is if I can kind of make this more of an assembly line, I can get this done faster. I don't know guys it is five o'clock and i've only just finished the second round with painting the doors <sighs> cabinets are painted at least two coats some areas have three coats of primer and it is six o'clock angel's not here yet but she should be here any second i still have to do the doors i'm not going to get that done until she gets here so i think the next thing to do is angle the camera and wait and when she walks in the door say ta-da i almost have a surprise so let's put you in the corner over here and uh yeah wait for her to get home the whole classic saying with the camera hi welcome home but this time i didn't buy a dump truck if you don't know what that reference is look at the links below in the description there was a day when i bought a dump truck off craigslist didn't tell angela until she got home had the camera in her face and said hi please don't kill me Ta -da! wow Yes. You've been busy. The camera is on. Yeah, that's probably wet. Probably. Come on in. Don't worry though, there is no dump truck other than the one that's already here. Good. Yes, good. That's good to know. What do you think? <laughs> wow. Wow. So what do you think? It looks wonderful. And it brightens it up in here a lot, which... I didn't think it could be more bright with the yellow, but <laughs> it does. It is really nice. So a couple of things that I can go ahead and tell you guys. The Lowe's cabinets are junk. Don't buy Lowe's unfinished cabinets. The quality in wood and the amount of sanding I had to do compared to that from the base cabinets, which are from Home Depot, miles apart. Hmm. So if you have a Lowe's and Home Depot and you can choose, go with Home Depot. Or better yet, look at both and then choose what you want to buy. At least all of our uppers and lowers match as far as all the uppers are from one store and the lowers are from the other. But I wish we got everything from Home Depot. Okay. And would you have bought 
white cabinets. Hmm. Yeah, that's the other thing. As I'm doing this, as, as we were painting the other night, I'm like, is this thing worth it? We should have just bought the white cabinets. But I looked at prices again today. Each cabinet was anywhere from sixty to eighty dollars more. Okay. That's a lot. It is. It is a lot. I think we spent about a hundred and thirty on paint. No, it was more than that. Hundred it was ninety eight for the paint, fifty something for the primer, and the it was like 160, 170 bucks. Which is a lot. It is. We've never spent that much on gosh, paint. Gosh, no. <laughs> $30 for a gallon? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> right, right. How about 98 Yeah. But anyway. So, yeah. This is our. This has been our journey in primering our kitchen cabinets. I'm going to go ahead and let you decompress from work. I've got a couple more doors to finish. But that's it for these guys. And then on to the... Next. I've been thinking what's next. But we'll save that for... Us. For the next. Yeah, for the next. <laughs> we'll be next. All right, guys. We'll see you later. Appreciate you watching. Take care. Bye.